So there's some rumblings, some scuttlebutt, some rumors out there in the field that say instructing a Keesler is a career killer. Nope. Let's hear from some instructors on the issue. What better way to influence the next generation of cyber or comm officers than to be an instructor? Our career field has come out and said that they value it. Uh, and that they want the best and the brightest teaching the next best and the brightest. The Air Force, especially on the officer side, has, has put more emphasis now in becoming an instructor and, and, and show that it's valuable for an individual to grow into their career. We just had a meeting with our commander, and our commander uh, articulated some things that came out of our development team board, and she articulated that even on those boards, they put emphasis on looking at a person's record and showing those instructors and, and giving them a, a higher edge uh, amongst their peers. They are showing time and time and again that those who have that instructor experience under their belt, that they are kind of performing better and are uh, more competitive when they're competing for certain spots, such as Squadron DO, Squadron Command. I've learned so much more being an instructor, being able to get down into the weeds of the different things we do as spectrum managers. When I leave here, I think that I would be a better spectrum manager because of the little basic things that I'm able to get back to and learn. I came here with a skill set primarily in defense and cyber operations, a little bit of incident response, um, and I'm leaving to go to a staff position for operational planning. I never thought I would be able to qualify for something like that, but diving deeper into the curriculum and doing the research required to improve the curriculum and building those relationships with the field, I got a better understanding of myself and I was able to better prepare myself as I left. That would not have been possible had I not become an instructor. It was an awesome opportunity to come here because I built on what was already kind of decent and now I'm leaving better than I've ever been before. <laughs> I'm pretty sure those instructors are all using the same runner crowd. <laughs> yeah, definitely the same people. And I think I saw Johnson in the back when Roundtree was teaching. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that background, woo, cyber. Very cyber. And on Roundtree's class, everybody had something different on every screen. Every screen was different. Yeah, they did. They did. Oh. And, and Massar, ooh, mm -hmm. I think he was about to cry. Some emotions getting, coming out for sure. Get emotional. I, don't, uh, I almost didn't make it through. Okay. Do you have anything constructive to add, though? Oh, yeah. I guess that's why we're here. They do maintain our proficiency uh, by, we maintain our proficiency by going through and getting certifications, uh, SANS to name a few, uh, and then also send it, going to professional uh, conferences uh, such as Black Hat, DEF CON. Oh, you uh, go to Black Hat every year? Yeah, there's a, there's a number of instructors that go over here. That is awesome. Absolutely. You can probably build a lot of relationships with other cyber and comm units, or do you see anybody you know there every year? Absolutely. It's such a small community, uh, cyber is, that we constantly see the, many of the same people uh, year after year from different units to even Space Force and some of the Guard and Reserve units. And I know from my experience, having been here so long, that every instructor that PCS is out of here, they leave here better than they arrived in almost every way. Technically better, better socially, uh, connected, professionally, leadership-wise. Uh, it's, just, it's just a good place to grow in all of those areas. Plus, while you're here, you are a non-deployable T-prefix. Absolutely. Uh, and in addition to that, not only are you a T-prefix, you also can build actual credential, teaching credentials uh, in some of the different states, and you, you can leave here being certified and have a, a backup career if you wanted to do that. What about a potential promotion boost for the enlisted instructors? Oh, absolutely, from what I've seen. Uh, everyone who comes out of here uh, definitely seems to have a better leg up for promotions. Uh, the reason for that, as far as I could tell, again, I haven't sat on a promotion board, so I couldn't tell you 100% you know, for sure. However, uh, coming out of here, you've uh, been improving, like we mentioned, uh, technically. Uh, you've been keeping sharp, uh, building new material, course material. You've been working on mentorship, leadership, all of those other skills that aren't uh, included in actual technical proficiency. And you're constantly bettering yourself, uh, and that's reflected in uh, your EPBs uh, and uh, awards and whatnot, and that is recognized. It seems to be recognized from those who make those uh, promotion decisions. Well, we gave you a lot to think about in this video. 
Keep it going. There's a whole playlist. Watch the rest of these, and we'll catch you in the next one.